Hello there. It's me. Hi. You can tell it's me because, yeah, it's me. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a little top down video for you. This is, uh, right, okay. So my good friends contacted me and they were at an auction house and they were like, do you want us to bid on some jewellery boxes for you? Some like random bits. And I'm like, yeah, I'm bored and I've got some money to spend on stock. So they bid for me and I got a bunch of jewellery. Um, so the cost of the jewellery and the um, commission and all of the postage and everything to get it to me came to 40, 41 pounds altogether, I think it was. Let's just call it around 40 quid. And I've got various little trays and tins and boxes and stuff of things. So I'm going to go through them now. And of course, the good thing about me doing this top down video is you can't see my face. And you can't see what I'm wearing because I am, oops, I'm in fact just sat here naked and wearing Stetson. So, that's lovely. Okay, well, what have we got? Um, they showed me pictures of them like before they sent and uh, I was like right okay it's worth the risk because there's some things in there that I think might be lapis there are some things that I think you know might be some uranium glass or whatever but you know for 40 quid I'm willing to take a risk really so that's an unusual watch I'll look that one up see if it's vintage see if it's anything we've got some milk glass but unfortunately it does look broken so that'll go into a broken vintage jewelry lot and that is a shame because that would have been quite a pretty multi strand necklace by the looks of it but lovely milk glass beads is it something that i could fix no not really ah oh, that's a shame never mind a random safety pin with bead on it that'll go in broken as well a set of glass pearls that again need a bit of attention so they'll go into a broken area they apparently are attached to the screen now. now i'm not expecting anything amazing in this it would be awesome to obviously find some gold and silver but I don't expect it at all. I'm just here for the shits and giggles. <laughs> okay, so we have got um, a Tiffany bracelet. Oh, obviously, that uh, that's real, isn't it? You can you can tell by the the rust and everything that is definitely not real. It's going green and red in places, which means it's copper underneath, and it means that the copper is oxidizing. So, unfortunately, not real Tiffany. Never mind. Someone's tried to do a little bit of crafting there and there's a little picture of an eerie girl in there by the looks of it. And for crafters lots. Oh, what's these? The South Lancashire Road Club. Hmm, a little like copper tokens. We'll see if that's a thing. Someone might want to be collecting them. Quite a few. Yeah, they could be, I don't know. Oh, different one there. Tameside Sports Festival. Hmm. Bunch of coins anyway. That'd be interesting. Oh, that looks nice. Ah, oh, shame it's a little bit broken there. But that's got all little, lovely little equestrian style charms on it. You're gonna be silver, maybe? Possibly, it looks like they might be a little stamp. We'll test that later and I'll get back to you. So, we'll put that aside as a possible precious, you never know. You never know. Uh, some more broken pills. There's a bunch of stuff for the craft a lot. That's, um, yes. That'll go into a regular lot. There's some nice, this one I might try and sell. It's got some nice stones there. I can never remember what the stones are, but that's a possible selling one. Or is that broken? Oh, that's an easy fix. 
Oh no, it's not. It's just for some reason got an extra chain on it. Someone wanted to extend it. So I'll take that off there. So it's more like a collar length necklace. So that's all right. I might try and sell that one. I'll put it there. That'll go into a lot. Pair of earrings with nice turquoise colour stones. Are they plastic? I think they're plastic actually. Into a lot. What's this? Big Sis. Oh, bless. It's from Claire's Accessories. There's a little uh, thing with Bob on it, dream capture. Come on out, you come. So this is like belly dancer kind of bracelet. There's a couple of bits missing. I'll put that into crafters lots. It's got like the little coins. I'll do them crafters. Another Claire's Accessories. One BF, probably for best friends. Isn't that nice? A broken chain. A little bit of vintage, what looks like it wants to be gold, but uh, can we doubt it? Can we see any hallmarks? Can't see any hallmarks or anything. But I'll keep that to one side to test because you never know. I mean, that looks like it might be a little amethyst in there. So we'll check that out. More very damaged piles in here. Right, that one. Are you missing a stone? Yeah, you're missing a couple of stones, so you're going broken. What earring there? And yeah, you look like you're going to be fun. What have we got here? Are you a bracelet or are you a necklace? Got some interesting like marble type stones in there. Got a little tag, Freedom, so that's Topshop. Topshop does sell, um, but this is more of a your festival kind of way, so I think I'll put that oops, into a job lot, someone else. That's got a little silver clasp there, but the beads are absolutely horrendous. So I might just take off the silver clasp. Or I'll just keep it in with the broken lot. They can all go in broken bits. Okay. Next one, I've got a little tin. Crawford's Petticoat Tail Shortbread. The mango that pin. Oh, some drop earrings there. They look like they're handmade. They'll go into the lot. Ooh, are you going to be a nice multi strand, chunky industrial chain? Quite possibly. There we go. Right, these look like Topshop as well. Like all these kind of spiky things. What do you mean? You look unusual. Oh, some nice wire wrapped copper. They look quite nice. We've got stuff on cords. That's kind of unusual. That looks like it might be handmade. I might test it for silver, you never know. Yeah, I'll keep that aside. Oh, little hearts. That's kind of pretty. It's in good condition. I think I might try and sell that one. Record all my stones here. And what's that? You can go into a little crafter's lot there. Wow. Okay. Right, let's take you off. This is per una. It's a bit of Marks and Spencers. It's got all its stones and everything. It's in okay condition. I might consider selling that one. I'm not overly excited about selling Marks and Spencer stuff, as you can imagine, but you know. Got to get some money back from this lot, you know. I mean, if I find other things that are worth more, then obviously I probably won't sell the Marks and Spencers one. That'll go into a lot, but I try and, you know, 
claw back some money as soon as I can. These are quite unusual, aren't they? These look hand, handmade and hand wire wrapped. Again, I might test that, but they look kind of interesting. There's lots more of these triangular earrings and then some feather ones. I mean, they're quite nice. Oh, shame broken. Is that the matching one? Mm, yes. We can go in broken. Lots of little bits of earrings and stuff. We'll probably end up in the crafter's lot. These feathers can go in crafter's lot. Looks like a hefty pendant there. Oh, another wire wrapped one. It's unusual. Hmm. Oh wow. Okay, this definitely looks like the top shop or kind of thing with the tassels. It's in all right condition. It's got all of its stones there. Hmm. I'll consider selling that one. This one's a bit 80s looking. It's not vintage, but it's got that 80s ish kind of vibe. But that'll go into the job lot. And these earrings, right? That's a pair. That's a pair. And what are you that's holding all this together? Are you an earring? No way. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's an ear cuff. I see. So, and then that bit dangles down. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. This is. They. They really want to be friends, though, don't they? These two. What are you? Okay. You're not silver. But you're very tangled in there. Anyways, those are probably... Wow, if that was loose, I might consider selling that one, but I can't be bothered to separate it just yet, so I'll just keep it to one side. That's all right. That's kind of Aztec sort of inspired. I'd consider selling that one. This is a nice, big, chunky chain. This is River Island. I quite like that. Yeah, I'll sell that one for sure. Uh, that one could go in broken. JC, but it's got stones missing on it anyway. Never mind. That sort of Art Deco inspired. It's got long, like lariat kind of thing, but that'll go into a lot. Wire wrap ring here. I'll test that for silver. Oh wow, look at these earrings. They're fab, aren't they? I quite like them. I'll consider selling them. Like when I say I consider selling them, it's like obviously I've got to be in the right mood for selling things. And I've got to just think it suits the aesthetic of my store because, you know, be a little bit fussy in that way, but why not, you know? Why on earth not, right? This one is broken, and that's a real shame because I probably would have tried to sell that. Never mind. More for the broken bits. Long tassely necklace. That's kind of a good old festival sort of vibes. I'll consider that one. It will probably go over to the uh, I can't be bothered lot, to be honest, at some point. But, you know, we'll keep it on the consideration pile for now. Right, some broken chain. It's quite a long tassel pendant necklace. Don't know whether it's missing some tassel there. But it looks all right otherwise. We are so going to job lot, though. Right, all these random bits of earrings, so some crosses. And then these weirdy bits. Is that a pair? You're a pair. 
Little pair. Little pair. Let me just check the backs on these just in case. Because you never know. You never know. Little pair. Little pair. Little pair. And with these cute little hearts. Another one of them. <laughs> and another one of those sparkly ones. Good for Christmas, I suppose. I'll get rid of that feather there. Another big heart pendanty thing. That's all right, it looks a bit like puke dirt, but that'll go into a lot. I'm getting stuff caught on my ring. I should probably take that off, but you know. That's quite nice, but it'll still go into a vintage lot. I've got another little dream catcher thing. That looks like a real pearl there. And we'll test the wire on that. I mean, if that does end up being silver, I'll probably put it on a nicer chain than just, you know, a bit of cord. Seems like a waste, really. Next, I've got a pair. Broken chain and another pair. Okay, that's the second box then. Oh, and another pair of little heart earrings there. Oof. Those are dusting bits. These are like the imitation Swarovski ones. I'll put them into a lot. I mean, at least they've got like four of them you know, to wear together. It's all right, but I won't do anything with them. Right. I'll come back to you in a minute. You look like a bit of thermoset plastic. Look at this big bugger. He is a big bugger. Uh, it's um, one of those. Yeah, I'll just put that in broken. Some full pills are going broken. This looks vintage. There we go. That's nice. Nice little collar length necklace. Needs a little bit of a clean, but that's okay. Do we have a maker? Nothing on the clasp, but yeah. I'll sell that one. That's nice. Another one of those. Looks like we've got another bit of vintage here. So it's like one of those bolo style ones, but they're in a bit of a tangle, aren't they? Oh dear, and that's, uh, that's the sound of the cat being ill as we go outside. Just delightful, isn't it? Please do ignore. But yeah, that's vintage thermoset plastic. Cute little uh, necklace there. The heart pendant charm thing. Sparkly. Needs a bit of a clean, but it's got all of its stones and everything, so that can go there. Right, we're in quite a tangly mess here. I'm hoping that that might be glass on this one. And I'm hoping that that might be jet, but you know. Oh, don't be in such a right, We'll come back to you and we'll take out some of the big bits. Right, that's a nice bangle. Nice and heavy. Why can't you be gold? Hmm. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? But we can see it's like being worn off and stuff. So. Silver tone. Sorry, gold tone. Ugh. Pairs of earrings there at least. Oh, and this cuff bracelet. I'm going to a lot. Right, you. Random bit of chain, we'll test the silver, and if it is, we'll go into scraps because it's broken. I've got quite the tangle in here. I don't like these like shell type ones. At least it's come out in one piece, so that'll go into a job lot. And we 
you. This is quite long with lots of stations, heavy beads on it, quite pretty. What are you? Glass. Maybe look a bit like coral, but I don't think they are. I think they were all just glass or porcelain. Right, another couple of vintage bits, but broken. So they go over there. This I kind of like, sort of look of selling maybe. It's interesting enough. I don't want to sell boring things. I want to sell interesting things. Otherwise, what's the point? But yeah, that's got quite a an unusual look to it. Can imagine that on like a black dress or something, cocktail dress. I might try selling that one. I've got an odd earring here, and. What are you? Are you like a bag charm? Or oh, you're a charm on a necklace, okay. And you sell the term necklace. I've got like dangly glass beads that will go into a lot. two necklaces together, quite possibly, yep. Yeah. So again, like a long dangly charm thing. And what's you dangling off there? I hear you. Right, so that'll go into a lot. This we just got like, mm, faux pearl on a silver tone chain. That'll go into a vintage lot. As with these plasticated beads, what's this blue one? These are blue plastic, vintage, so vintage lot there. Uh, these are plastic, that's a shame. If we were jet, that would have been really cool. Hello, Asmi, we can to see what I'm doing. They have got a bit of ching ching about them. But no, they look formed. Really lightweight plastic, I think. And typical is building works as well, isn't there? Right, this is vintage. It's got a patent number on the back. Hey, Yasumi. So I'll sell that one on its own. So we've got these like silver color ball stations. Is there a class? No, it's just very long. So we'll go over the head. I might test that for silver though, you never know. Yeah. Long gold tone chain with no clasp on it. I doubt if that's going to be gold, but again, check because it's not got its class so we can't see. That'll go in broken, that's just one of those eyeglasses things. This I think is glass and it's got nice beads there. That might be Czechoslovakian. I'll try and sell that one because that's quite pretty. And all we got in this cute little box. So random earring bag. I think these are going to be odd earrings. Why can't you be gold? Oh, you would have been quite the nice chunk. Yep, earring backs. When you uh, see a little box like that, you do kind of go, oh, that's where they've, that's where they put the good shit. But no, not even any silver earring backs. Oh well, they can go in with crafty bits, aren't they? Right, the boxes are getting bigger now. Oops. Now I saw 
saw lots of these and I was hoping they're uranium glass. pin huh that's fun so it's probably something that was sold like uh you know fairground beachy kind of thing i like that i'll sell that one that is fun we've got a napkin ring which is david michael finebone china uh lime regis indeed a little pair of earrings a little gold plated Nothing on the back there. Very sweet. Right, promising. We've got a clip on earring there. And what are you? Oh, we've got a nice little leaf on a chain and it's got something on there. Are you gonna say Avon? Yes, you're gonna say Avon. But that is quite nice, coming up for autumn. Someone might want that, so I'll sell that separate. Oh, I've had this necklace, or have I got it currently? Oh, shame, it's broken. With all these lovely mother of pearl leaves on it. So I'll put that into the broken lot. Right, this I think might be uranium, possibly. Could glow in the dark. It's broken, but not really broken. That's easy to fix back together. But that I'm going to test as well for uranium glass. Oh, nice little copper bangle here. I'll put that into a lot. Ooh, we've got a little bit of a watch. Always worth looking up. Like, you can see it's got jewels in there as well. So I'll look that up later. I've got another little pin here. Ah, Mother's Union. I've sold that one before, so I know I can sell that again. <gasps> Hello. Oh, you're broken. Oh, gutted. Shame. That would have been really pretty. Ah, oh, another one for Broken Lot. Never mind. That's a shame. See if we can get you out. That's quite fun. It looks handmade with a little star and faux pearl dangles on there. That'll go into a lot. These fun plastic things will go in the vintage lot. They're made in Hong Kong most probably. Let's see. Yep, it says made in Hong Kong on there. So vintage plastic beaded lot. Got some very badly in faux pearls, badly tarnished. Okay, wooden beads, let's get rid of these. I'm not a fan of selling things like that. I think they're a bit boring to be honest. You know? So I'll get rid of them. Oh, that would have been a lovely clasp there. Faux pearls, then they'll go in broken. Ooh, we've got another watch. Parmex, does it say? What's it say? Parmex 17 jewels. It's got a nice sturdy uh, thing on it. Strap, stainless steel. Yeah, we'll look that up. That looks quite 70s. A little tie pin there. That'll go into a gentleman's lot. What do you say? You and me, you and me, son. That looks very tarnished there. Ooh, a stretchy. With all these different colour things, but that'll go into broken lot. We've got, um, that is for, put them in your buttons, and that dangles down on your shirt. That'll go in vintage. Okay, another one of these. Mother. Okay, ooh, 
Right, you desperately need a massive clean and a big fix up, but you could have been quite interesting at some point. It's got some kind of, oh, does it say Hong Kong on the back there? And it's missing a couple of things, I don't know. That's interesting, I'll just keep it to one side just because I quite like it. It might be something I might try and do something with. We've got some more full pills here that don't want to let go. Just let go. Oh yeah, I'm missing some of the plastic coat in there. So in the broken lot it goes. Oh, please can you be okay? Oh, so 1950s. Oh, yes, you've got all of your stones. Oh, lovely. Okay, we are missing a hook from the end, but that's totally doable. I like that. I'll fix that. I'm going to sell that. I do like that. So I'll put that on the I'm going to fix that and sell it pile. These will go into the vintage lot. <clears throat> um, you broke it? No, you're okay. You'll go in the vintage lot. got bloody shells, which I think can only be used like in those macrame, um, you know, plant pot holder things. That will go into the lot. Got some, oh, that's very stretched out. That'll go in. Broken. And where are you from? You don't say where you're from. Boring. <laughs> That's kind of fun with the big long tassel. That'll go into the lot though, I won't sell that. As will this one. Into the lot. Oh, this is a nice chain. I like this. This, oh uh, right. So don't fall into this trap. It says 777 on there. 777 means nothing, but that it's a nice kind of coloured chunky gold chain and I will consider selling that one. What have we got here? That's unusual. Quite heavy. I kind of like that. I don't know why. Something bizarre about it. I'll consider selling that one. Another one of those earrings. So we've got a pair to put into the lot. Um, kind of a hematite thing, but again, it's lost its stretch. Some kind of charm from something, but it looks broken. Again, they're going broken. What are you? Hmm. You've got potential. There's an earring there. You look like you might be gold. You look like you might be gold. Let's keep you aside there. And nothing on that side. I hope there's another one of those earrings if there is gold. A uh, little fairy dangly charm or a flower or something, but it looks like there was something in the middle and it's come out. Never mind. Got. Oh, I when I used to do crafting, I used to use these leaves. Nice vintage lucite here. So if there's another one, they'll go in a vintage lot. This is a nice chain. Good for layering. Can't see clasp on it though. I think the clasp would have been there and it's missing. That's a shame. Into broken it goes. That looks like a long tassely necklace thing. Can't be bothered to untangle that to be honest. Right, let's get these bloody shells out. Get them away. Pearl cufflink, that's adorable. I hope you've brought a friend. I think you're in one of these 
these boxes somewhere. All right, another corded thing. We'll get rid of you. Oh God, you want to stay on there, don't you? Okay. Like a full torture thing and then a heart pendant necklace. These are going to be Murano, but um, I doubt they are. It's not on a silver clasp. They're probably just like, I mean, Millefiori, but they're probably just from accessories or something. But they're pretty enough, these. Right. Why are you stuck there, random thing? That's a cute enough little bracelet, but again, I probably won't sell it. Now are you faux pearls? Yeah, your faux pearls with a big tassel thing there. And silver tone. Kind of useful though to keep some of them sometimes. A key. Something bits. Hematite. And a couple of long necklaces for the lock. One. So we really, really, really want a match for that one earring. If not, it's the end of the world. And we also obviously want it to be gold as well. Right, this looks like more like my kind of thing in here. Oh, first off, Pilgrim Bangle. I'll sell that one. God, this is heavy. Oh, we've got a lighter, a Ronson lighter. Oh, fab. Monogram in box. Okay, that's cool. Right, don't know what you are. That's really weird. Okay, you can go away because you're confusing me. Paragon Fine Bone China. It looks like put something smelly in there maybe or is it a doorknob oh doorknobs doorknobs maybe no salt and pepper missing things could be no i don't know odd um nice twisty bangle thing don't think you're silver that's a shame that'd have been lovely if that was silver right now we come to some vintage bits. You've got all your stones. Thank you. I'll have you. Oh, what are you? Are you a watch? Oh, you are. Park Lane. Like a football. So that'll go into a watch's lot. A little pin. That's quite nice. Is that the Yorkshire Rose there? I'll sell that. Oh, you're nice. With a bit of fur around it. When I say nice, I mean like that's a bit. Ooh. But yeah, that's cool. I'll sell you. Metal bangle with some faux coral, faux turquoise on it. It's interesting, but not interesting enough for me to sell on its own. Right, this is what I did see, and I was like, oh, please, can you be a bit of lapis? Yeah, that looks like lapis. It's got gold flecks in it. That's quite nice. I'll sell that one. Doing all right so far, I think. A little dolphin pendant. Keep him aside. You never know, we might find a little necklace for him now. Oh my word, Wait, what are you? Some kind of scary dragon thing around her. Yes. Not my kind of thing to sell, so that'll go into a lot. <gasps> but you're awesome! That looks like it's been handmade out of random bits and bobs. Not so keen on the sparkly eyes, but I do like the rest. That looks like fun. I am definitely going to try and sell you. Possibly on a silver chain as well. Oh no, no, maybe not because it's got that. But I do like that. It's just a shame it's got those eyes but that's I quite like that that's weird and unusual 
a little vintage looking pendant. I don't think it's silver now because it's got little bits of copper coming through there. But we'll try and find a chain for you, put you into a vintage lot. Yeah, we've got a nice little rolled twisty chain here. Can't see any hallmarks on it just yet, but that's quite nice. It's in good condition. We'll keep you aside. Please be gold, please be gold. <laughs> That's quite sweet. It's got some kind of marker on it, but I don't think it's vintage. That'll go into a lot. This is a nice gold tone necklace. A bit Art Deco-ish looking. I like the wings on that. Can't see a maker. Nope, but that one I'll sell separately. That's cool. Big heavy pendant, it's very tarnished, that'll go into broken. This is made to look um, vintage, but it's probably not. But it's kind of cute. Again, that'll just go into a lot. A uh, little brooch missing a stone there, so that'll go into the crafter's lot that I'm making up for someone. That's cool. Is that cherry quartz with possibly some coral and some other quartz? That's nice. That's really nice. I like that. I will sell that. I like that one a lot, actually. A lot, a lot. <laughs> right. Some big chunky green bean, beans, beads to go into a lot. That's a bracelet. Can't see any marks there. Oh, it was a Sarah Coventry, as you can tell by the little diamond shaped thing there. Keep you aside. What are you? Are you thistle? Oh! Nice, little like thistle earrings with marker seat in them. That's pretty, they might be silver. Yes, I like them. Lovely stuff. Okay, that's unusual. Got little, maybe a picture or a dry, oh, is it like a cherub in there? That's cute. I might keep that aside. I'll test it for silver, you never know. Um, just a flat chain bracelet that'll go into a vintage lot. These look like there's some nice stones on there, but this is very, very rusted up, so I wouldn't want to sell it. And yeah, they're going into broken just as they are, you know. Yeah. Right, a rosary. I'll keep all rosaries and uh, crosses and stuff to one side and I'll sell them as a little lot as well. And a little pendant, that might have been from the Sarah Coventry possibly. Do a little pendant slot. Pair of earrings, you can see how mucky my fingers are getting. They're not silver, but they're nice enough, they'll go in there. Right, we have got, oh, how adorable is that? Could that be Mexican maybe? Like a little dancing dolly? That's cute, I saw that. Oh, that's uh, the necklace for those earrings. So I'll make sure I'll put them in together. Don't think the chain is silver. But yeah. I'll make sure they go together. That's nice, kind of like a, maybe an aventurine in there, stone. That'll go into vintage lot. Some white plastic beads, another rosary here. What does that say? Oh, Lords. There we go. All right. 
some rather spangly earrings going off there. That'll go in that. Something with a key on it. Ooh, a very rusty earring can go in there. Um, that's quite nice. Clean that up and sell that one separately. Plastic, vintage plastic beads. That's got an unusual looking stone in there. And that might be, yeah. Um, that'll go yeah, there. Some long beads and that'll go in vintage lot. So we've got some random pendants and things and earrings. Two boxes left, we really want to find that and we want to find out if it's gold. But yeah, I'm well happy with this so far. Really happy. Okay. Got a Matthew Spencer's tin here. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's get rid of some things. Stretchy things. Not interested in that. That is super heavy glass. Oh my word. That feels like nice quality. Yeah, I'll sell that one. It's super heavy. These look quite nice as well. I like them. I'll sell them. Some more faux pills. Need a good clean, I'll go in for the lot. And for me. Stretch, stretch. Into a costume knot. Right, this is bizarre. Bizarre enough for me to sell, I think. Yeah, kind of tribal looking. Some long, nice glass pearls. And they're really nice and heavy, so I'll sell those. These plastic. This is super long. Do you have a, a thing? Ask me, stop, stop trying to be in the video. You're being cheeky. Can't do anything without asking you wanting to. Just be close by, which is very sweet, Dazzy. You are lovely. Right. Weird beads on the stretch thing. I'm going to put them in the crafters box. I think they can make something a bit nicer. Ooh. This is fabulous. Nice textured faux pearls. Box clasp. Yep. Ooh. I like that. I will sell that. I know, Anzani, I love you. Oh, it's a shame you're broken. As in, it's got stone missing from there, but they're lovely and heavy as well. Oh well, into broken you go. Um, yeah, these ones will go into costume, modern costume, broken, um, for sale, kilo bag, whatever I mean. These look like pretty stones, like a little tangle. I know, Azumi, I very love you. That is quite nice. Look at her, she's terrible. But again, that'll just go into a regular lot. Handmade, possibly coral. We've got some pearl and some sea glass and some shell in there. I might sell that one, I might. Oh, there's the bit that's come off that. Right, that's probably, I don't know, is it hematite? Anyway, that'll go in regular lot and so all of that. Um, that's quite nice, it's got some unusual beads in there. That'll probably go into a vintage lot. And then this, Pewter Norway BM. This looks very interesting. I like that, we'll keep that aside. That looks cool. And then we've got one last box, Azumi. 
one last box. Hopefully saving the best for last, eh? This is, this is a box full of gold and silver, I think. Somehow I don't think so. But you never know. I just don't know. What you're going to find. a bit right, let's quickly just discard some things oh hideousness um, clean up that so okay but I won't sell it broken broken watch bits for crafters that's all right Broken, some random keys, broken bits for the shell, a little cup, Claridge's Royal Worcester. Okay, we'll look that up, that could be unusual. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Georgia has the earrings into a lot. See, they've all got numbers on the back, these ones, so that they know when they're making it what position to be in, but that is stinking. That's a shame. Glass, but I'll put it in there. Got a vintage belt buckle. That will go into a lot. Bit of coal. Chalk. Random. Okay. You look like broken. Broken. A stretch into a lot. Stretchy for the look. Another bit of broken watch. A bangle. Broken bangle. Tarnished bangle. These are all quite stinking and will need a wash by whoever gets them, but they're salvageable. Kind of brutalist. Fish. That can go in a lot, it's not overly bad. Ooh. Okay, vintage lot for them. Broken watch. Ooh. Ooh. A ring that was once possibly quite pretty, but we'll keep you aside, you might be silver. Georgia has the earrings for the lot. Oh, we've got a little Harry Potter time to in it, but it's broken. Untangled. Maybe we'll come back to you and get some amber, I reckon. Another little ring. Very tarnished. Let's see. An earring that you pierce with. A random button. Would have been quite a nice pendant that, but broken, kind of broken that, little bookmark thing, shell, rather tarnished ring, another rather tarnished ring, ring missing stone. Okay, Ingersoll watch, ah, oh, that's where that little bit of plastic came from, so you'll go into a broken watch's lot. A Reader's Digest trolley coin. Big wooden beads. Manky stuff. Manky stuff. Some more manky stuff. Now, is that worth cleaning up and selling? Yeah, I think so. Someone will like that. And Cleopatra as well. Got some more wooden beads, like the pebble style beads, not something sorry, I'm interested in selling. So we're doing a lot. Fashion ring. And another one. Took 
vintage earring here, clip on. Hopefully we'll have partners for these. Maybe a bit of silver, I don't know. We'll get back to them. Um, okay, a scarf ring. Vintage scarf ring. Costume ring. Oops. Another one of them buttons. God, look how stinking my hands are now. That's grim, isn't it? Back to you. Won't force it. Uh, Marks and Spencers. I'll go in the costume lot. A little ring, but it's very tarnished. Another button. Okay. You look like a whole heap of stuff that I don't even want to attempt. Sure. Just have a quick look, see if there is anything that I kind of like the look of before I just put it all in the broken lot. Um, no, nope, nope, nope. We'll go in there. Time tuner, what are you mixed with? Uh, again, I think you're just going to go straight into there. I can't be bothered untangling. A small brass chair, or throne, in fact. That's fun. I'll see if I can sell that. You're going broken, you're quite tarnished. You're all right, you just need a clean. Uh, they made from paper then, that a vintage lot. Is that, oh, no, I just moved that around, didn't I? Sure. Oh, you're broken. Broken. Broken watch. And then little bits of bits. Oh, we've got a little Cornish imp pendant. British Red Cross. And another pin, another pill pendant. Um, oh, that's okay. And another, there's a little dolphin pendant there. And I don't think these bits, it's a shame we don't have that mat to that damascene earring or to that to that but yeah I've got a bunch of stuff to test now so I'm going to leave you on tinter hooks here and I'll come back at you in another video later on and I will show you what I found okay so with this mess in these hands I shall say a bye bye now bye bye catch you in the next one